in time. For Honor is a game where there is a big skill gap, meaning that the players that spend more time and energy into mastering the combat will win 9 out of 10 times. Now that the game has just been released, improving your skill as fast as possible is important to make sure you win those fights. This is a general guide on improving your combat skills. Specific guides for the champions will come in the future, so keep an eye out for that. Now let's hop into this guide. Patience. The combat in For Honor is different than in many other fighting games. Patience is key here. Mashing the buttons doesn't work in this game. Yeah okay, occasionally it will work, but most of the time it won't. Especially against players of a higher skill level. Believe me, I've experienced it. This goes for both offense and defense. Especially defense. If you make a mistake in parrying, blocking or dodging, it can be fatal. Often you need to time these moves. Diversify. For you. During the start of the game, it is important to try out different characters. Not only for your experience, but also for improving your skill. Each champion has strengths and weaknesses. And you can only learn these when you are playing with them. Or of course by watching our guides. The assassins are quick, the heavies are strong and the hybrids have range. And the vanguards, well, the vanguards are balanced all around. Move sets. Know your champion. Before selecting a new champion, make sure to check out their movesets. The basic moveset will be the same across characters, but each champion also has a unique combos. Learning these could decide if you're victorious or not. Before you hop into an online match, you can practice these on bots or in a custom game to make sure you're able to perform the combos. Believe me when I say there is a big difference between knowing something and being able to do it in this game. Be unpredictable. Being predictable is the worst thing you can do in this game. It brings the opponent in a position where they can easily parry, block, dodge or counter you. Play with the directions of your guard and don't always sprint directly into the opponent. Fainting is a great way to be unpredictable, but this is a skill that is hard to acquire. Be creative with your fighting style. In time, facing multiple opponents. Advantage. When facing multiple opponents, you are at a disadvantage. The best strategy is to keep your back at a wall to prevent yourself from being surrounded. Using your revenge can knock opponents down when timed right giving you a way to even the odds. It also improves your attack, defense and makes it so you can't run out of stamina. However, when facing multiple enemies, focus on the defense, because their health combined is always gonna last longer and they can do more damage quicker, so make sure you don't get hit. Use the environment. General Fights tips that can be applied to combat situations involve the environment. When your opponent is near an edge or spiked wall, you can throw them off or into it with a double guard break. When someone falls off an edge and it doesn't kill them, you can perform a leap with your heavy attack when near the edge. This will finish them in one hit. But beware, missing a leap will damage you. Secondly, when an opponent is climbing down a ladder, chase after them and hold the dodge button to slide down and knock them off. This will deal quite a lot of damage, if it hadn't killed them already. Proof your gear. As you play, you unlock gear items. Each champion has 6 pieces of gear that can be customized. Not only cosmetically, but also statistically. You can change armor on the helm, chest and arms on your character. And the blade hilt and guard on your weapon. Each of these apply both cosmetic and statistical changes, often one or two positive effects at the cost of a negative effect. Note though that the dual matches have gear stats switched off, so these stats do not apply when fighting a 1v1 or a 2v2. Feats, Feats are like the kill streaks. 
that can be used once earned. You have four categories, unlocked by getting consecutive 1, 2, 3 and 4 kills without dying. Each next category is arguably better than the previous. They can also be divided into passive and active feats. Passively meaning that they will automatically give their bonus without the press of a button. And actively that you have to manually use it. Don't forget them. Choose an easy champion. When you're just started playing the game, it is wise to just start off with an easy champion so you can get used to the controls. Champions that are overall considered easier than others are the Warden, the Warlord and the Raider. They are fairly balanced champions, meaning that they aren't the quickest or strongest, but somewhere in between. These are mostly the easiest because of their block mechanics, since timing is less punished compared to the other characters. Those champions, these tips and strategies will help you when starting the game. Of course, at some point, it's better to start specializing in one character if you want to truly master him or her. For that, we will release in-depth guides on those champions. We just started the series on For Honor and are excited to bring you more. Please rate the video with whatever you think it deserves and give us some feedback on how to improve our content. Any tips and strategies that you have are always welcome. Not only for us, but for the others as well. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.